Roger, first of all, um, great to see you. Congratulations. We've got to start with the, Thank you. the big news. Um, what's it like being a father yet again? Um, it's the best thing in the world, really. Um, just uh, supporting uh, Mirka through it all and being there for her and also Myla and Charlene, my, my two daughters. It's been an unbelievable journey and now that my two sons, Leo and Lenny, are born, um, yeah, we, we couldn't be more happy, really. It's the best thing in the world, um, super emotional. Um, it's just nice, you know, being in such a big family now all together and spending quality time together the last few weeks has been super nice and now clearly I missed them being here in Rome without them but uh, I'll see them in, in already five six days again so I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Is there an element of you come here to get away from the hard work though a little bit? Um, not really I mean uh, I wanted to stay home but uh, the team and Mirka and everybody thought it would be better for me to stay stay in touch with the game and um, keep playing uh, matches because I've had such a good start to the season so maybe if I didn't play you didn't keep playing and just spend time on the practice courts and changing diapers maybe you know I would lose my my rhythm and uh, so for that reason I quickly decided to come here short term and uh, and give it a go here and I hope uh, I'm going to be able to play some good tennis after all. You've had to deal obviously with the impacts of being a parent within your career do you think that now being a father of four will have a, a greater sort of impact if you like? Yeah, I'm not sure if this one's going to have a bigger impact than the first one. I always believe the first one is always the most uh, difficult to handle. It's the same with first victories on tour. It's just that it's a relief, but it's also the same. It adds a lot of uh, pressure and uh, just different organization. Whereas I think this time around, we kind of know what we're getting into. Um, clearly, it's going to be so much work, you know, with four kids on the road. But I feel like we're going to be able to handle it. My wife's unbelievably supportive and she's so good with the kids. And I try my best as well every time I can to help. And I'm there every day, you know, maybe I'm half day off. So I'm actually always with the kids and I see them so often. So it's something I'm really going to look forward to, to spend this quality time with them as we travel the world uh, and are in different countries and cities. It's going to be actually very exciting. You mentioned, of course, that you, you've had such a good year. It must be so pleasing after the, you know, the trials of last year to be doing so well on tour. Yeah, I mean, it's great playing so well again. And now, you know, with the great news of, uh, of uh, the boys being born, you know, the, the other day, um, it's really very happy times at the moment in, in our life. So it all happens at the same time. Sometimes it's not a coincidence because you're just so excited and so happy on the inside. So then that also shows um, in your game uh, because we need to be inspired mentally. Even though now I'm quite tired, I hope I'm going to be able to still play some inspiring tennis this week and also looking forward ahead to the French Open, Wimbledon and then the Masters 1000s on the hard courts. Just finally, you've not won here before, you have done well. Do you think that your sort of maybe extra confidence or relaxation and also maybe the trials that Rafa's going through and Novak with his wrist, this could be a great opportunity this week? Maybe. Um, I really got to go round by round. I didn't really come here straight away to win the tournament. I, I really try to pick up some matches here and, and just stay in touch with the tour. Um, if the, it's going to present itself that I will have a, an opportunity to win like last year, make it to the finals, um, sure, I'll give it everything I have. But I'm, I'm really not too thinking too far ahead. That would be, I think, a big mistake after what happened the last few weeks. But uh, I am playing good tennis. Monaco was a great start to the clay court season. And I hope I can keep a, a good level here in Rome.